And Sierra, I think we I like should that. also Sierra. try what Pay's pitching here. Pay Chen, everyone. <laughs> You've got some cool uses for condiments. Yeah. So I know that you are so into food mm -hmm. and you see it and you use it and you're all around it, but you've come up with different things that you can use with condiments that yeah. we might use like, you know, for other things. Exactly. So I think we've all have some jars and bottles of things in our pantry and our fridge that we use for like one or two Tons. things, but there's so many different ways to use them. So mustard is one of my favorite condiments. It's inexpensive, couple of bucks, lots of variety at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really, really versatile. So, you know, sauces, marinades, vinaigrettes, all of that. I the, brought the ones that I think people probably the most familiar with so mm -hmm. grainy mustard Love Dijon it. honey mustard lots of great flavors it also adds sweetness and spice to baked goods yes oh Something really you, yeah uh, you agreed with me I was like yes processing no. it. <laughs> you said yes wait so, like, muffins and cookies yeah so I made Use these mustard? really great zesty carrot cake muffins really simple okay. so you're gonna help I, I yeah, know yeah, how I'll much do you it. love baked I'll do it. in here we've got some brown sugar and eggs okay and then we're gonna add this is um some butter and walnuts in there if you don't like walnuts oh, nice. it's fine you can take them out you can replace them with something else I love walnuts. and uh, obviously lots of carrots and then this is our flour mixture as well it's got some okay. ground almonds in there so really easy and great grab-and-go kind of breakfast as well mm -hmm. and what gives it a little bit of kick is using uh, two tablespoons of this great my whole grain mustard. So if yeah. you don't have this, if you have Dijon at home, yeah. use that. If you've got honey mustard that'll add a little bit of sweetness, that's great as well. So when you think about it, we're not adding the entire bottle, right? We're just no. adding two just a little bit to give it some kick. Yeah. That's what mustard does. And when you think about it, um, in carrot cake, we add cinnamon, sometimes nutmeg, right. coriander. Those are really warm spices. Right. Mustard is as well. So it's a really nice addition. And I think it's fun if you're, let's say, having brunch or dinner party, mm -hmm. invite people over, have them try and guess the secret ingredient. I like it. So we Let also have... Yeah, I a little can't even bit, right? really smell it, just so a little bit. So then we've got some zest there, orange and lemon zest. And again, nice. you can play around with what you like. I like ginger, so again, this is oh, really wow. nicely complements the mustard yeah. too, right? So I've got This some is a good, ginger. healthy muffin, I'll say. That's the other thing about mustard, actually. Yeah. Mustard's really healthy for you. Mustard is very it's low a good in calorie condiment. So we've got some cinnamon and ground coriander in there. You're putting everything in I've here. I've got everything in there. And then you would put it into your little baking cups, which I've matched my tablecloth. Nice. <laughs> Like we all do, off, yeah. right? Like we do at home, mm -hmm. right? And you'd bake those off, easy peasy. Um, and as you were saying, in terms of mustard being low cal, use it for your potato salad instead oh, of mayo, nice. or mix it with mayo, right? Yeah. A nice option. Also, vinaigrette. I know a lot of people do oil and vinegar, right? So, for example, apple cider vinegar is one that I like. Yeah. I don't know why some people decide to mix it into a bowl, then stir it up, and then pour it into a jar. You're making too much of a mess and using too many dishes. Just but put it right in the jar. A little, I like using honey mustard. It adds a bit of sweetness without having to add sugar. And mustard, if you make it into your salad dressing and shake it all up, it actually emulsifies. It binds the oil and the vinegar. So right. you have a really nice dressing. And here you go. Here's your great dressing for your picnic, your lunch. It's, uh, you know, summertime, add some fresh herbs in there. Really easy. And there you go. It's not separated like it is if you just do the oil and vinegar. Look at how easy that was. Add a little bit of mustard. Really, really great. So, uh, vinegar is another thing that we all have at home. Yeah. Probably a couple of different kinds, right? So mm -hmm. I've got the white vinegar, the balsamic, yeah. the apple cider. Balsamic vinegar is really great, not just for your, you know, salads, but uh, with fresh fruit. So, so I've seen this in, before. Yeah, so yeah. as we get into summer and all the local fruits out there, I think this is a really inexpensive way to entertain and super easy if you're having like a barbecue or picnic. We're not talking about using a lot. Right. Just like a few tablespoons. Stir that around. And if you and this is the other extra little thing is a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Ooh, you might not, give it some zing. Yes, and so this over, let's say like pound cake, the short mm -hmm. cakes, ice cream as well. So super easy. And another tip I wanted to mention, if you have your bottle of balsamic vinegar at home and you're wondering how to use it, yep. is to make your own reduction. And you can do that very easily by just putting in, let's say, a cup or two cups into a pot over the stove. Let it simmer until it reduces down and gets nice and thick. Just to show you the consistency of that, it would be a bit thicker than the vinegar I just had there. Okay. This is beautiful over. Look at this. We've got some fresh asparagus. local asparagus. Get your asparagus now, people. It's when out you're there. Really, right, when you're out you. there. Right, really nice. Yeah, that's and, great. And uh, a great way to dress things up. So that's a nice way to use up your larger bottle. Uh huh. 
And very enough. cool. I like the combination of flavors because you get the yeah. sweet with the fruit, and then you get a bit of that zing with the balsamic. And it Love also it. helps like with uh, bring out the sweetness too, right? right? It's really great. So the next condiment, mayo. I don't know how much of it you I may love mayo. Do you love mayo? <laughs> yes, it's so bad for you. <laughs> it is. Mm. But you can make really great dips too. So now yeah. that people are growing fresh herbs in their garden or on their balcony, um, snip off some herbs, mix it in with a little bit of mayo, make your own dip. And another, this so this is some fresh dill. And yeah. I know another popular condiment is sriracha hot sauce. Sauce, love right? it. So I love this stuff. I know it might be a little much for some people who are a little nervous with heat or for kids. But yeah. if you make your own may uh, sriracha mayo, so you could do two to one ratio. I've done this before and yeah. I didn't even know it was a thing. It is a thing. It's but just what, what did I you wanted. use it for? What did you use yours for? Uh, good question. I don't know what it was. Okay, I'll tell you what it's. I'm a saucy girl though. Oh, okay. Which is like so bad. Yeah. But I want everything in a sauce. But this so is really what... great to dip uh, veggies in as well. But you know, oh, be mindful of the idea. calories. Uh, right? Veggies, sandwiches, a really nice little dip for things. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. One quick other thing, I know we're running out of time. This yeah. is my li little mayo hack. So if you've got like, you know, the sticky labels from mm -hmm. jars that you're trying to get off, put a little bit of mayo on there. I'll let this sit for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually, does it take it off? Yeah, it takes a little bit of elbow grease, yeah. but because I like to reuse jars when I buy like pickles and things, you know, at the farmer's market. Yeah, I'm going to try that. A little bit that. of elbow grease and you can actually get the label off. After the break, it'll be off, I promise you. Thanks, well, I've got a lot of work to do. We're going to put that recipe online, cityline.ca. <laughs> We're going to break. Stay with us.